This plant is called an aloe vera. It's originally from Africa, so it's developed a number of ways, a number of techniques to survive in the hot, dry environment in Africa. First adaptation that aloe vera has is it has a waxy coating on the plant, which is called a cuticle. And the cuticle, it helps conserve water by creating a humid habitat around the plant. And this makes it closer to the, the humidity within the plant leaves, decreasing the water loss through tran evapotranspiration. Now, aloe vera is a succulent, so what that means is it stores, it stores water inside the plant leaves. As you can see, the, uh, the plant, the leaves, they're very fleshy and swollen, not like the thin leaves on most trees that you see around here. So if we cut this open, as you can see inside, it's all very gooey and sticky. And that's all the water that's stored inside the plant leaves. Aloe vera forms a symbiotic relationship known as mycorrhiza with certain fungi. Both the fungi and the uh, aloe vera benefit from this relationship. Because of the, the fungi's large surface area, it is able to easily absorb water and mineral nutrients from the soil. And because it is attached to the roots of the aloe vera, this transfers to the aloe vera, enabling it to gather um, lots of resources from the soil much more easily. In return, the aloe vera provides the fungi with some um, products of photosynthesis. And those are some adaptations of aloe vera that enables it to conserve water and survive better in the harsh conditions of its environment.